hi guys i want to welcome you to my youtube channel well in today's video tutorial i'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step demonstration of how you can make money online using google Ma admob so many of you guys have heard of google admob before you've not heard of google admob google is uh, admob is a publisher network for app developers so if you're an app developer or you're um you're looking for a way to monetize your apps so you can use google admob to monetize your apps so relax if you're not an app developer i'm gonna show you how you can create an app how you can develop an app with your mobile phone it also integrates ads into that app and you can also start any money with that app so i've never gone in depth in the tutorial before because i'm going to be showing with you some secrets which other youtubers don't share with you so i'm going to show you how you can go ahead and create a mobile app integrate ads into that mobile app and start making money online so if you have you know, an app developer even if you have no knowledge of app development even if you have not never done this before so as you can see before i prepared to making this video i had no knowledge on it before so it was due to my research uh, i was able to find out those information so i'm gonna be sharing them with you guys you can, you can see right here on my dashboard i did exactly what i just said here as you can see this is the amount right in right here this is seven dollars this is from yesterday's end and this is 28 25 dollars 13 cent this is the amount i've done for this month so far as you can see I just started it just three days ago and this is what this is my results you can see it on my screen so I'm gonna be showing you step by step how you're gonna do it so this video is gonna show you how you can make $25 daily with Google AdMob <music> So I'm going to start with step one, which is creating an AdMob account. So I want you to head over to Google and search for Google AdMob. So once you head over to Google right there and search for Google AdMob, you're gonna see different results. So my advice for you is to pick this first result here that say Google AdMob, Google App Monetization with Google AdMob. So here we're gonna learn how to create your Google AdMob account. So my advice for you guys is to create a new Gmail account so don't use your own personal gmail go and create a brand new gmail account for this purpose so you can go ahead and click this get started right here and money with your mobile app you're gonna simply go ahead and sign up with your new gmail account so i create a random gmail account for this purpose because i'm not going to be using my own g uh, my own admob account because i already have an account so i have the sign up of my account to show you guys how to create one so you can go ahead right here you can choose your country so since you're in Nigeria you're gonna scroll down to Nigeria and pick Nigeria right here which is right here then the next thing you're gonna go is pick your time zone so it's automatically uh, puts Lagos at the top so you're gonna select this time zone the next you're gonna select your billing currency I advise you to pick US dollars there's also Nigerian Naira there but I advise you to go for US dollars then next you're gonna accept your terms and condition then click this create an AdMob account so once you click this create an AdMob account, you, you get this message, you have successfully created your AdMob account. You have created a new AdSense ads account for you for you, and you have connected them to AdMob. So that's all you, all you have to do. You see, a confirmation email has been sent to your email address. It contains some things for you to get started with AdMob. So what you're going to do is click this yes button. As, uh, yes, yes, go ahead, then continue once you click this continue button you're going to be taking i think directly to your dashboard as you can see this is your dashboard right here so you, you get making money from your apps just got easier you introduce your app to add mob and create add units so that that's what that's just it it's very very easy to create an add mob account so you just have to do is go ahead and click this get started button that is just it so for now we are you don't have a new mobile app so you're not going to set up anything so you can go ahead and cancel this so this is your home tab right here so once you do the next thing you're going to do is create your mobile app and connect it to your admob account so i've just shown you how to create your admob account which is very very easy the next thing you're going to do is head over to your gmail you understand go ahead over to your gmail and confirm the email that they're going to be sending to you through your gmail so it's very very easy once you just confirm your email you can go ahead 
and head over to the next step which is creating your mobile app like I said before you have to go to your Gmail to confirm it confirm your account creation so as you can see right here this is the email that was sent to me from Google AdMob say welcome to Google AdMob it also shows you your publisher ID so you can go ahead and go ahead and um, open the email as you can see so there's nothing much to do here just you go ahead and read off this and get started when you get started now you have to integrate your uh, add your ads to your app so the next thing you're gonna do after I finish creating your AdMob account I want you to go ahead and put your payment details you understand what I mean so before you can get served ad you have to input your payment details so you have to go go down below this menu right here go down to the right payments so you go ahead and put your set up your payment information so they say this info is required before AdMob can serve you ads so as you can see right here you can select your account type leave it as individual then for here for your name you can go ahead and put your real name so I'm gonna put the name here right here let me go for because I'm, I'm, I have created an AdMob account with my name before so I, I don't want to create multiple accounts so let me choose a name here so right I would advise you to go for your real name your as in your real exact name don't change details I'm only using this one because of as an example so go ahead and fill your address I'm gonna use one of this my address here if you have another address here you go ahead and fill it up so for this one let's say I'm gonna put here same place then leave the postal code go ahead and fill your postal codes I'm gonna leave the same postal code here in the same state here then go ahead and click this submit button ensure you set up your correct phone number just follow exactly what I just did right here put in your correct details so once your details have been set up this page is gonna load for you so this way you they will start calculating your earnings for you after filling in your payment details I believe this is how your dashboard screen is gonna look like so if it doesn't look like this relax there's no problem just that what I want to take note is this it's gonna show to you that your account is being verified it usually take up to four hours but in rare cases it can take up to two weeks when it's far you when your verification is complete well what I want to do for me is just just for you to relax because if you, if, you, if you notice from my previous account, you will notice that I said my account has been verified. So I want you guys to take a pause now after I finish creating your account and come back here in 24 hours time. So, but I'm still going to continue recording this video showing you guys the next step you're going to do after your account has been verified. But you can still go ahead and do this even if your account is not verified. But you're not going to be shown ads until your account is being, is being has been verified. So we're going to do this. The verification takes just 24 hours. So by this time tomorrow, your account should be verified. So when you're, the next thing you're going to do is head over to where the road apps and create a right ad app. So right here, we're going to be adding a new app. So I advise you to pick a name for an app which you love so the app is gonna be an android app and it's not in play store if the app is on supported app store click on no you click continue so for your app name you're gonna pick a name for an app which you love so i'm gonna just gonna pick a random name so click this add app so the next thing you're gonna do is create add units when you're done click add unit then go ahead and click banner so for this one you're gonna name it your app name and click create add units for the next one you click, click on that create another add unit then select this one here then give it the same name you named your other one And click create add unit so once you've done this too click this done button as this is exactly what is going to show up to you once you are finished clicking that the next thing you're going to do is 
head over to this website called appcreator24.com so if you head over to this website this is how it's going to look like I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and sign up to this website so as you can see right here I already have an account that is why I, so I have to log out of my own account to show you guys how to sign up so you can go ahead and click this big sign up button this process I'm showing you guys can be done with your mobile phone it can be done with your computer so everything I'm showing you here you can do with your mobile phone so go ahead and input your name here change your country from what it is default United States to Nigeria go ahead and put your email I advise you to use the same email you used to creating this AdMob account since it's a new email go ahead and put it right here then go ahead and put your own password then go ahead and accept the terms and conditions then click send they're gonna send you an email to the account which you used to create this this um, this account here so you're gonna send a mail to that email account because you're gonna verify the account All right. After signing up, I want you to go ahead and click the sign in button. Once you click the sign in button, for you there's not going to be any app here. But for me, I've been experimenting with this app created 24, and I've had some apps created here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click this create app. So I want you to go ahead and give the name to your app. I'm going to name it Anikunye so the next thing you're going to do is once you choose the um, app icon you're going to go ahead and choose a, a, a file from your gallery here so go ahead and choose uh, a file from their gallery here because i love one of their gallery i'm going to be choosing this one here this one that looks like a game part so the next thing i want you to go ahead and fill in the description for this app you can go ahead and write whatever you love so i'm going to write i love this app so once you've done with that you click on the next button so for this part you can choose any style for your app i'm going ahead and click the black one because that's the one i love and click on next so for the next part i want you to go ahead and click on web app so for this app now you want you to go ahead and open up two music websites because i love music so i want my app to be about music so i'm going to be using just ninja and ninja vibes so if you if you know the url you can go ahead and click on it so i'm gonna look for ninja vibes if you if you have any music website which you love you can go ahead and use it i love music if you love youtube if you love watching videos you can go ahead and put videos there youtube there so i'm gonna search for ninja vibes which i've seen here so i'm gonna go ahead and copy the url so you can go ahead and search for just ninja because i'm going to be using the two of them for this example so i'm going to select put the url and click on next so once you say um, wizard completed app created so go to manager all right when you head over to the menu beside here i want to go ahead and click on sections once you click on sections i want to go ahead and and click on create new section just like you did in the first place you go ahead and click on web so right here for this section you're gonna change it to just ninja for the second web website which you choose then go ahead and copy the website URL go ahead and copy the full URL plus including the HTTP extension go ahead and add it right here so go ahead and click on save so once you're finished saving you click on go back so this is your mobile app so you can head over to design go ahead go to menu type if it's on top menu before go ahead and click on sliding menu then go ahead and click save so with that we are done creating the mobile app we are finished creating the mobile app so it's time for us to move to the next step which is how to integrate AdMob ads into your AdMob account so once you're finished creating your ad unit just like this, you go ahead and copy this banner ad, head over to your appcreator.com, go to ads, go ahead and, here there's not going to be an ad unit here, just go ahead and change it and put your real ad unit right there, here it's going to be empty for you, so just go ahead and copy the second ad unit here, which is this one here, 
go ahead and paste it right there when you go ahead and paste it the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead go down below and click save once you just click save then you are done with this step which is how to integrate uh, ads into your adnob account then the next thing you're gonna do how to upload your app to google play store so once you're done with this we're gonna go learn how to upload our app to google play store all right i just showed you guys how to um integrate ads into your mobile app now well, it's time for us to download the mobile app and test it out and see whether it works whether the ads are showing so you have to go ahead and click uh, my browser icon head over to your app 24 app greater 24.com so if you're using a phone you have still have no problem the reason why i'm just switching because of i was using a laptop and i have to switch to a mobile phone so go ahead and click my sign in button so I have to go ahead and download the app which I just created. As you can see right here, this is the app here. Go ahead and click on it. I have integrated ads into it. So next thing I have to do is download the app. Go ahead and click this download button. It will show you download. Then go ahead and click it. Once you click it, it's going to download into your phone. Okay, I open the app which I just created and install it. I have to go ahead and install it. Uh, to take time installing me excuse me i think i can soon and i have to go back to my download sorry sorry i made a mistake okay install it all right whenever i ask you this go ahead and click install anyway was the mistake i made the first time then the app is just really installed. The next thing I'm going to do is open up the app. I didn't click anything to manage it by itself. As you can see right here, this is how your mobile app is successfully created. You can see how beautiful it is. You can go ahead and scroll through it. You can see right here your ads are already showing just below here. You can see now. If you want to go go back to the notification menu, you can go over to Just Ninja. And exactly how I did the first time. You can see right here. Boom. Just exactly how it is. okay okay guys you can see the app is working perfectly fine next thing you're gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys how you're gonna start any money from this your mobile app which you just created because what's the need of having an app if you cannot make money from it so i'm gonna start show you guys messages you can use to start generating money from this app so if you have done this, you have to wait for your account to get verified, which is very, very, very important. Well, as I already showing here, as you can see right here, but you have to wait for your account to get verified before you start making money from this app. So thank you guys. My account has been verified. So like I told you before, you have to wait for your account to get verified before you can start making money from this app. So the th next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to uninstall my app because I uninstalled it before. So I will have to go back to the previous download where it is. Let me go ahead and install it back again. So once your account has been verified, install anyway. It's time for the next step. So you have to go ahead and download an another mobile application. And go ahead and open it. If you notice something here now, Data, okay, if you notice something here now from this uh, app which we created, the ads that are, that, are, that are being displayed here are ads from Ninja Vibes because with, with this one below here, this is not our ad, this is an ad from Ninja Vibes. So, we want to integrate our own ad so it can start showing in this mobile app. 
So the next thing we are going to do to integrate our ads as so start showing, because I notice our own ads are not showing in this app. No, no, we are just showing here yeah, just ads from this website which we use. So next thing we do, you have to go ahead and download this application. I'm going to show you the application. This one right here called APK Editor Pro. So that's a mobile application. You have to go ahead and download this one right here, APK Editor Pro. So I'm going to give you a link in the description of this video where you're going to go ahead and download this mobile app. So the next thing you're going to do is head over to settings. Go ahead and after you download this app, then go ahead and go ahead and you're going to go ahead to this place, the root um, sign in with. Go ahead and select sign in with APK Editor. That's what you're going to click. When you're done with that, you go ahead to the next step. Next step is to go ahead and select APK from app. Once you go ahead and click that button, the list of apps in your phone are going to be displayed. So since you have installed our app, and uh, for me, for me, you know, my app is an Equoia, so this is it right here. I'm going to select it. Then go ahead and click this common edit. Once you click this common edit, it's, go it's going to be here on default. So go ahead and click auto. Um, auto by OS make decision. Just click it. Then for version code, you go ahead and change the version to anyone. Go ahead and click save for this one. Then go ahead and click save. So it's going to take a while. You're going to click walking, 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 walking. So it's going to take a few minutes for it to work. So you guys should just wait for it to finish processing. Then when you see this uh, succeed, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the previous application. So you click the remove button. It's going to uninstall the previous one. Then we install this one, which you just created now. When you go ahead and install it, let's wait for it to install finish. So this is this step is very very important. I'll go ahead and open the app. So you can see our new app emulator. New app has been created. I want to show you something different from this one right now. If you can see right now, this new ads at the top here was not displaying before. This new ads was not displaying before. That ad is our own ad. It's our own banner ad at the top. So if I switch to just Nigeria right now, you see the the international ad is still showing. So you can go ahead and click the cancel button. As you can see right here, the ad at the top. This ad, this one right here, about think is glue. This is our own ad. So this now you can you are now ready to start making money with your mobile app. So once this your ads are now showing, so whenever whatever a click or activity that happens on that ad, it now reflects on your mobile app. So as you can see right now, your ads are now showing. It's time for you guys to learn how to upload your app to Play Store. I'm gonna go into my laptop screen right now to show you guys how you could do that. Alright guys, we just finished this step, how to integrate um, ads into your AdMob account. I don't show you guys how to integrate ads, how to set it up to make the ads start showing. So the next step you're going to learn is how to upload your app to Google Play Store. So in order for us to upload our app to Google Play Store, you have to follow for go ahead and read the Google Developer Policy. So I'm going to drop a link to this policy which you have to go through and read it if you accept your terms and conditions before you can go ahead and publish it. You can go ahead and click this play console for you to land to the page where you're going to publish it which is going to be this page right here so you go ahead and sign in with the email which you use and create your admob account if you have a google publisher account before you can go ahead and use that one so you can go ahead and put a pub uh, public developer name i prefer you to put your company name right there i can also put my name there so right here you go ahead and put your secondary email address. If you have another email address, which is your main email address, I want you to go ahead and put it right there. So the next thing you're going to do is contact phone number. You're going to put your phone number right here. So when you put your phone number here, go ahead and accept your terms and condition. Then click create account and pay. Okay, before I forget to tell you, you have to you're gonna to have to make a payment right now so it's gonna be a one-time payment fee okay i think this number have to be in 
as in an in international format all right guys i just made the correction right now this is how your phone number should be in international format you add a plus 234 in front of it if you're in nigeria if you're not in nigeria you can go ahead and add your country code in front of it so go ahead and click this create account and pay so what you're going to do is next you're going to be led to pay you have to make a one-time payment fee of 25 dollars so for those of you who can afford it i want you to go ahead and put your card details you put your card holder name right here also input your streets right here then click buy so with that being done you can go ahead and upload your app to play store because we have all right i just showed you how to upload your app to play store how you, you're gonna go make payment and upload it so for those of you who don't have money to upload to play store this is where the time comes in so we have to show you how to make money by just yourself clicking on your mobile app by yourself or if you have friends and family which can share your app too that will help you be using your app and clicking on it and you will earn money i want you to go ahead and do that you can go ahead and share those apps with your friends and families for those of you who don't have friends and family that you want to make money on your own by just self clicking on your ads because i told you these are the ads that when they display on your app whenever you, someone clicks on them you make money from the uh, and the, uh, uh, the clicks so i'm going to show you how you can do that properly well because many people when they don't do it well when they click on their ads by themselves they can get banned by google so the natural way of making money is by uploading your app to play store by paying that 25 dollars fee so when you upload your app to play store you promote your app and people download it so whenever they use it they click on your ads you make money but if you don't have money to pay that 25 dollars fee i'm going to show you a simple way you can use your own app on your own and start self clicking on your app and start making money so i'm gonna jump into my computer screen right now and show you how you can start doing that today and start making money i've shown you how to create a mobile app now i want to show you guys how you guys can be self self clicking on your mobile app so there are some materials or should i say tools or should i say app you're going to be needing for this tutorial for it to be successful you know for you to self click on your app very very well prevent your account from being banned by google the first thing you're going to be needing is a browser i want you to go ahead and go to google play store and search for incognito browser please go ahead and download this browser it is very very important for our step next you need your mobile app itself once you have your mobile app it's okay and next thing you're going to be needing for this is a app called google settings shortcut please go and download this app google settings shortcut then the next thing also you're going to be needing for this is a vpn i can recommend you download winscribe vpn once you download it you are ready to start so next you want to go to your settings of your phone head over to apps and notification while you are there in settings head over to default apps change your default app from whatever it is to incognito browser if it's on permanent change from permanent to incognito browser once you are done with that the next thing you're going to do is head over to your settings look at all your apps please and please any app that has to do with google play store or google itself google chrome Google anything that has to do with Google, please go ahead and disable all of them. Follow my instruction, please and please disable all of them. Do not enable any of them because they are the ones that are going to leak your location to Google and your account to get banned. So once you're done with that, I want you to head over to your Winscribe VPN. I want you to go ahead and select locations from this area. Please and please, once you select USA, do not select USA more than once because there are more than one USA locations here. So select one USA, select one Canada, select one Australia. Once these ones that have the star icon at premium plans, once you select enough up to 10 or 20 locations, you select them here. Then go ahead and log in into each location. And we're going to start with this one below here. Once I connect connect to that location the next thing i'm going to do is is once you see like this is blue here it's connected so once you want to know that you should take note of your time if you are not allowed to spend more than two minutes in a location once you are connected to a location i advise you you go to your mobile app which you just created go ahead and keep scrolling on this mobile app 
when you keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling i want you guys to change the location please do not click on any ads which display on this mobile app do not click on any ads once they show you only look at them like this and cancel them because what we are trying to do we are trying to generate impressions for our mobile app so the more impressions you have the more chances of money your account you're going to make so once you click on this app do not click on another app ad again so once you click generating impression if you want to click on an ad ensure you click on just one ad ensure that the other ad you have clicked in a day are not more than five just keep clicking on it slowly i mean don't rush it if you click on it one by uh, one o'clock today you should wait for very click one just keep generating impression by just keep using the app the more you use the app the more impression you generate so once you keep generating impression you can go ahead and just keep using the app so i advise you to your other website i just use music website for now if you can go ahead and look for fun website that you can be using while your ads are being displayed so that you can be generating impression like at least now if you're a music lover you can go ahead and keep down what you music, listen to music or download music from this website but well, once the ads keep showing please do not click on them once you notice that you have stayed in this VP, this vpn location for more than two minutes once you head over to your vpn switch it off once you switch it off the next thing you want to do head over to your google settings shortcut go to your ad settings right here go ahead and click the set advertising id which is very 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 important always reset your advertising id whenever you change a new location and do not stay one location for more than five minutes always change your location that is it guys i have showed you the instruction of how you can go ahead and sell click safely on this mobile app my advice for you do not click on an, on an ad more than five ads in a day give yourself time once you click on the first one in the morning you wait you, you click the second one in the afternoon you wait you click the third one at night that's how you keep clicking on it do not click on more than five ads in a day and also don't stay in one location for more than five minutes always change your new location once you exhaust this location you wait you after waiting you go ahead and start again because this is not something you rush you do it gently gently once you rush it your account will get banned you, you have yourself to blame to say congratulations to you guys who stayed to the end of this video who watched this video to the end you guys are the best you guys are the real mvps i really spent my time into creating this video for you guys in fact it took me a whole two days to record this full video tutorial so i want you guys to follow whatever i've just said in this tutorial whatever i said here works because i've tried it out and it's working for me that's why i'm sharing it with you guys so whatever what we did here with we went from teaching you guys how to make some five dollars daily with google admob i showed you how to create an admob account how to create your mobile app i also showed you guys how to integrate ads into your admob account also i went as far as showing you guys how to upload your app to play store and also i showed you guys how to self-click properly on your ads and for those of you who don't have money to upload to play store so how to properly on your ads and make money from your ads bring yourself from being banned by Google. So if you follow my instructions, congratulations, you're on your way to making $25 daily. So guys, please if you're new to this YouTube channel, do the favor of subscribing. If you don't want to subscribe, there's no problem. I appreciate you for watching this video. Just please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you have any question, please and please any question you have, use the comment section. I ask me from the comment section. Just ask me down below. I'll be answering all your questions. Oh, please. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end. I will see you guys in the next one.